Welcome to Dolphin Watch TV. My name's Mitch and today I'll be talking about the history of Pope's Eye. Pope's Eye was built in the 1880s in response to the gold rush which occurred in the 1850s. As Melbourne became a very rich and wealthy city, they also became paranoid that other countries would come into the city and invade them for their wealth. As the cannons stationed at Point Nepean and Point Lonsdale weren't capable of firing all the way through the middle of the heads, they decided they needed extra defence against an invasion. They began to build Pope's Eye, a horseshoe shape of bluestone boulders which would act as the foundations for a fort available to station another cannon and create a stronger defence system for the heads. But due to it being such a lengthy process, technology had advanced and the cannons at Point Nepean, Point Lonsdale and Queensleaf were now more than capable of defending the head. Pope's Eye was then decommissioned. They decided they had no use for it anymore other than to allow nature to take over and do its thing. It is now part of the Port Phillip Heads Marine National Park and is home to some amazing Victorian marine life, as well as acting as a breeding zone for the Australasian gannets. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more.